Hi, I'm Sue. Welcome to this yoga practice focused on balance. You'll need a block, or if you don't have a yoga block, grab a book or some substitute for a yoga block. We will get started lying down on our backs. So lie down. You can keep the knees bent, soles of the feet on the mat if you prefer, if that feels better in your low back. Or stretch the legs long. Feet splay open. Bring your right hand to your belly, left hand over the heart. Close the eyes. Start to notice the rise and fall of the belly and chest. You're going to cultivate three-part Durga breath. Inhale, belly, expand it. Exhale, belly, let it go. Belly lifts with the inhale. Exhale, belly falls. On the next inhale, draw the breath from the belly into the ribs. Exhale, ribs, belly. Again, inhale, belly, ribs. Exhale, ribs, belly. Next inhale, draw breath from the belly, ribs up into the chest. That left hand rises. And then exhale the same way, chest, ribs, belly. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. And keep going. Slowing the breath. Noticing first the rise in the right hand, followed by the left. And then with each exhale, a complete surrender of the back body. A few more just like that. This is the breath that's going to carry us through practice today. After your next exhale, release the hands, draw the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze. Gently rock side to side. Massage the sacrum. And then come back to center and pause. Extend the left leg long, press the heel away, foot is flexed. Hold the right shin, flex the right foot, and squeeze the knee towards the chest. Straighten the right leg, hold behind the thigh or the shin, wherever you can soften the shoulder blades. Press the right heel away and start to draw the leg a little closer towards you. Bend the right knee, bring the right piece fingers around the right big toe. Bring the left hand to the hip. Left elbow is soft on the mat and start to draw the right knee under the arm in half happy baby. If that left hip wants to pop up, gently press it down with the left hand. And slow the breath to the three parts, belly, ribs, and chest. Release the hand and draw the right knee back into the chest. Give it a squeeze. Send the right leg long. Release the arms. Pause and notice 
any difference between the sides. That right side might feel a little more open. Bring the left knee into the chest, flex both feet. Squeeze it in. Straighten the left leg, bring the hands behind the thigh or the shin. Push the left heel away. And then relax the shoulder blades. Keep a gentle tuck in the chin. Bend the left knee. Reach up with the peace fingers. Wrap the left big toe and draw the knee down toward the left underarm. Right hand drapes on the right hip. Keep that right foot, the sole of the right foot, pointing up to the sky. And then slow the breath and send it into any place where you feel a stretch or opening. Release the bind. Hug both knees into the chest. Squeeze them in. Cactus or tee the arms. Drop the knees to the right. Twist. Knees are stacked. Left shoulder blade hugs the mat. And gaze can be anywhere that's comfortable. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. So you might be breathing into the side here and there might be a little less space but find any opening for the breath. Inhale, knees come back to center. On the exhale, drop the knees to the left. Twist. Reconnect with the breath. Find a little more softness in that right shoulder blade. And then inhale, come back to center, squeeze the knees in. Start to rock forward and back. Massage the entire length of the spine. Eventually come all the way up to a seated position. Ground down into the sits bones. Lift up tall through the crown of the head and then relax the shoulders down. Make some space between the tops of the shoulders and ears. On the inhale, sweep the arms around and up. Exhale, twist to the right. Left hand to right thigh, kickstand the back hand. As you inhale, press up, lengthen. And on the exhale, twist from the belly. Draw the low ribs in to find a little more space for the twist. And even in this pretzel shape, can you find the full length of your breath? We're going to need that for our balancing pose, so we practice it now. Leave the left hand where it is, come back to center, and then sweep the right arm up and over. Press down into the right sits bones and then start to lay that right shoulder blade back. Your gaze might come up to the sky or maybe that spot where the ceiling and wall meet. Inhale, rise to center, and then exhale, come back to neutral. Inhale, lift the arms around and up. Exhale, twist to the left. 
press down with the left hand, lift up taller, and then exhale, twist. Press up a little higher, lengthen the spine, and then as you exhale, deepen. Leave the right hand where it is, come back to center, and on the inhale, lift the left arm up and over. Reaching out of the pelvis, pressing down with that left sits bones, start to spin the heart open, gaze under that left arm. Find the full length of the breath. And then inhale, come on back up. Exhale, neutral spine. Make your way forward to tabletop, hands and knees. Take a moment to align, shoulders over wrists. Knees are hip width distance. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the tailbone. Exhale, round the spine, pull the belly button in, gaze between your thighs. Inhale, release the belly, heart reaches through the arms, cow. Exhale, press and round for cat. A few more on your own. Draw breath in from the low belly to ribs to chest. Exhale, release the same way. Doesn't matter what the shape looks like. Just matters that you're aligning your breath with your movement. Feeling into your body, into the pose. And then release back to neutral tabletop. Bring the knees to the width of the mat, big toes touch together. Drop into your child's pose, hips to heels. Forehead can come to the mat or a block. Let's make this an active child's pose. Bring the arms in front of you. Keep the chest low. Palms meet the mat. Elbows are lifted. Press gently into the palms to push the hips back just a little more, maybe a millimeter. Find ease in the shoulders. As you inhale fully, notice the belly pressing against the thighs. Inhale forward to tabletop and realign. So you might want to use a towel or a yoga blanket under the knees for padding, or you can fold the top of your mat over and double it for a little extra cushioning. On the inhale, right leg lifts, square the hips, flex that foot, and as you press the right heel away, reach through the crown of the head, long line of energy in the spine. Check that your Hips are square to the mat. We tend to rock over onto that left hip. Maybe float the left arm, spinal balance. This is our first balancing pose. So trust your body, trust your intuition, and use the breath to keep stability. That breath we cultivated at the beginning of practice from belly to ribs to chest. And then on your exhale, release it all down, shake out the hips. Come back to neutral tabletop. Other side, left leg lifts, square the hips and press the heel away. Keep pressing down into the top of the right foot for stability and maybe float that right arm for spinal balance. So there are little tweaks you can make here to help with your balance. You can press into the left hand 
you can draw the belly in and stay with the breath. Your body knows what it can do. And then exhale, release it down, shake out the hips, come back to neutral, walk the hands forward, about a handprint, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back to an upside down V, downward facing dog. Hips are high, chest is low, release the crown of the head. Softness in the neck. You can keep a soft bend in the knees. They don't have to be straight. Inhale, lift to tippy toes and tiptoe to the front of the mat. Bend the knees as you arrive. And let go of the crown of the head, hips are high, forward fold. Bend the knees deeply and roll up slowly, eventually coming to standing, take your time. Meeting at the top of the mat in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Feet are hip width distance. Palms face forward, lift the shoulders up, back, and down. Bring weight into the right foot, lift the left knee, and find your drishti on the floor in front of you. Foot is flexed. And then cultivate that Durga breath. Bring the breath all the way up to the chest so it's not shallow. Start to hinge forward. Step the foot gracefully to the back of the mat. As you inhale, lift the arms high lunge. Back heel is lifted. Front knee is bent. Front knee tracks over ankle. Widen your stance a bit for a little more stability. Hug into the midline. As you inhale, reach through the fingertips. Gaze lifts. Exhale, twist to the right. Reach the fingertips in opposite directions. If your breath is starting to get away from you, maybe slow it down. Maybe Lower that back foot for a little more stability. Turn inward. Your breath will tell you what your body is feeling. Inhale, slowly rise back up to center. And on the exhale, frame the front foot. Step back to a high plank, top of a push-up. Drop to the knees. Lift the toes and lower slowly Chaturanga. Release the feet. Bring the hands by your ribs. Tent the fingers. Press into the tops of the feet. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift the chest, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. We'll do that again. Press into the tops of the feet. Knees lift. Tense the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades, baby cobra, heart reaches, and exhale, lower. Hands under shoulders, inhale, press up to tabletop, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. You can always come to tabletop for any of these poses or you can rest in child's pose. So modify this practice to fit your body. Inhale, lift to tippy toes, tiptoe, front of the mat. Keep the hips high, eventually bend the knees and round in a forward fold. Bend knees and roll up slowly, mindfully, coming to standing, Tadasana Mountain Pose. 
This time weight comes into the left foot, right knee lifts. Find your drishti, a spot on the floor to help with the balance. And then breathe fully into your drishti. If you fall out of this pose, it's okay. Just means you've found your edge, that's a good thing. And our balance changes every day and from side to side. On the exhale, hinge forward, step the foot to the back of the mat. And as you inhale, rise the arms, high lunge. So you can widen your stance for a little more balance. Inhale, reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, twist to the left. If you feel yourself starting to shake, that's okay. Come back to your breath. Inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, frame the front foot. Step back to a high plank. Drop to knees, lift the toes, and lower, elbows hug in. Release the feet. Inhale, lift the chest, squeeze baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press up to tabletop, hands and knees, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog for three breaths. You can also rest in child's pose. On the next inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, draw the knee in, lift the belly, and step the foot between the hands. You can give it help with that right hand. On the inhale, rise up. Shoulders over hips, lift the arms, high lunge. Start to hop the back foot in. Bring the arms by your sides and launch the back leg about 45 degrees. Hover forward for airplane pose. You can flex or point the back toes. For balance, gaze down at a spot that's not moving on the floor and breathe steadily into it. Trust that you're okay right here. Release the hands to that right foot. Lift the back leg, standing splits. Lift the leg a little higher to drop the crown of the head toward the big toe. And then maybe walk the hands a little closer to that right foot to play with your balance. Bring the right hand to the ankle. Maybe the left hand to the ankle. Release both hands and step the left foot back, low runner's lunge. Drop the back knee, straighten the front leg, half splits as you inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, fold. Inhale, bend into the front knee. Step the back foot forward. Take a forward fold. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. On the inhale, rise the arms. High lunge. Settle into that hip. Right heel is lifted. Left knee is bent and then soften the shoulders down your back. Find your three-part breath from belly to ribs to chest. It's the breath that will anchor you. Hop the back foot in a bit. Start to hinge forward, lift the back legs. Lift the back leg and release the arms coming into your airplane pose. 
So that back leg is lifted about 45 degrees and you're hinging forward about 45 degrees. It's okay to wobble just like I am. And then release the hands to the mat, release the crown of the head, lift the back leg for standing splits. Full breath in here. Steady breath out. Walk the hands a little closer to the foot. With the left hand, reach for the ankle. And then maybe the right hand comes to the ankle. Just play wherever you are. It's a practice and not a destination. And then with your next exhale, release the hands, drop the right foot to the back of the mat, low runner's lunge. Drop the back knee, straighten the front leg. And as you inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, half splits. Come back to your breath. Inhale, bend into the front knee, frame the front foot. Step back to tabletop, bring the knees wide, release onto the heels, take a child's pose. Those balancing challenges are a good metaphor for what we experience off the mat. Sometimes things feel unsteady. But we can, we can trust our intuition, what's going on inside of ourselves, to know that we're okay. Inhale, take it forward to tabletop. Swing over onto one hip. And bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet together. You can bring the heels close to the body or you can make a diamond shape by pressing the heels away if that's more comfortable. Sit up nice and straight. And as you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, round. Let go of the jaw. And inhale, rise back up. Straighten the legs in front of you. Cross the right leg, the right foot over the left leg. Flex the left foot. As you inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, wrap and twist to the right. Bring the right hand behind you to kickstand. And as you inhale, lengthen tall. Exhale, twist. Find some space for the twist by bringing the belly in but still breathing, even in this contracted shape. Where can you find space for the breath? You can stay in your twist, or if you want to play with baby grasshopper, I'm going to suggest you have a block for this and bring it out to the left, to your side. Twist around toward the block and reach down, grab the outer edge of the left foot with your right hand. Bring the left hand about a foot outside of your left hip. Start to shift over onto the left side. Keep pressing that left heel away and hinge over. This is where the block can come in handy. You can bring your forehead to the block to start for a little extra support. and play with the location of your hand. The elbow is bent, the left foot is flexed, and you're pressing up and using the weight of the torso to lift the back body. So this is more about balancing than about strength. 
It's about leaning over to lift. So play with this if you'd like or stay in your twist. And then when you're done playing, come back to center. If you're in your twist, unwind. We'll bring the legs back to center and shake them out. So bring your block over to the other side, have it handy. This time the left foot crosses over, right foot is flexed, sit up straight. As you inhale, lift the right arm, exhale, wrap and twist. The left hand presses you up and as you exhale, rotate along the axis of the spine. Find your belly breaths. Notice belly, press against thigh. Bring the breath all the way up through the ribs into the chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly, and as you exhale, rotate. Stay in your twist or play in baby grasshopper. Again, come back around so that you can reach to the outer edge of the right foot with the left hand. The arm is inside of the left leg. Bring the right hand about a foot outside your hip. Play with the location. Right arm is bent. And then you're going to aim to bring your forehead to the block as you shift over onto the right side. So just somewhere to play and explore balance, especially when there's not very far to fall. When you're done, you can unwind, come back to center. If you're in your twist, meet us back at center, shake out the legs, bend the knees, soles of the feet to the mat, and roll down onto your back slowly Bring the arms alongside you, palms face down. Gently tuck the shoulder blades under the back. Scooch the heels in a little closer. Knees are aligned over ankles. As you inhale, press into the feet, lift the hips, lift the belly. Gently press into the back of the skull. Breathe fully across the heart space. If you want to play with balance here, bring weight into the left foot, lift the right leg, maybe point and flex the toes, but you can also just stay in your bridge. If the foot is lifted, release it and lift to the other side. Keep pressing firmly into that right foot, into the backs of the arms. And then we'll all meet back in bridge. Lower the hips slowly. Reach for your block. Press into the feet again, lift the hips and place the block or the book or if you have a pillow or even a rolled up blanket or towel under the hips. Lower the hips onto the prop. It should be down by your tailbone. If it's not comfortable, lower it towards your feet. And then allow the palms to turn up. Maybe close the eyes. Surrender the hips heavily onto the prop. And come back inward to your breath. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. Feeling the full length of the breath in the center channel of your body.
On the next inhale, press into the feet, lift the hips, remove the block, set it aside and come all the way down. Draw the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze. Cactus or tee the arms, drop the knees to the right, twist. Inhale, knees to center, and release the knees to the left, twist other side. Inhale, knees come back to center. Stretch the legs long. Arms by your sides, palms are up. Tuck the shoulder blades one by one under the back. Softly close the eyes. Let everything go. Belly is soft. Hips are heavy. Relax the face, the shoulders. And fully release into final relaxation. Shavasana. Trusting prana, breath. Trust the energy that courses through you, trust. Then take surrender even deeper. Be the energy, don't push anything away. Follow each sensation back to its source in vastness and pure presence. Emerge so new, so fresh, that you don't know who you are. Welcome in the season of monsoons. Be the bridge across the flooded river and the surging torrent underneath. Be unafraid of consummate wonder. Be the energy and blaze a trail across the clear night sky like lightning. Dare to be your own illumination. Start to deepen the breath. Bring awareness back into the body. Gently wiggle the toes and fingers. Gather knees into the chest. 
give them a squeeze and rock over onto either side. Pause in fetal position. And gently press up to a comfortable seat and close the eyes. Hands draw to heart center. Press thumbs to, to sternum and lift the heart to meet the thumbs. I hope you take this full breath and maybe some newfound space with you off the mat today and into your day. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. The light in me sees and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.